All right, to solve this problem for x, we're going to start off by squaring both sides. So we're going to raise both sides to the second power. That's going to cancel out this square root on this first x term. And so then what we'll have on the left is x times the square root of x. With, and we still have that square root of x within the second square root that we originally had. And this will be equal to three squared. And then we're just gonna do it again. We're gonna square both sides. This will cancel out this second square root radical symbol. And make sure we square this X term on the outside. So we're gonna have X squared times x times the square root of x being equal to three squared to the second power or just three to the fourth. Then we're just gonna do one more time. We're gonna square both sides one more time. Counts canceling out the final radical symbol. We're then gonna have x squared squared. So we're gonna have x to the fourth times x squared times x, which will be equal to three to the fourth, all to the second, so that'll be three to the eighth. And so we'll have x to the seventh being equal to three to the eighth. And then we just need to then take the um, seventh root of both sides or raise each side of the one seventh power, so to speak. Multiplying seven by one seventh is makes it a one. So it's just like X to the one or just one or just X. And we'll have three to the eighth sevenths on the right. And depending on the answer um, that you're gonna require, that they require them being the test people, this may be, you need to break it up into three to the one times three to the one seventh. Because one plus one seventh is eight sevenths. And then maybe you maybe they want it in radical form. So three times the seventh root of three. Either one of these is fine with me personally, but it just depends on what you're required. So there you go. That's all there is to it.